What is going on my tacticians and welcome to another tacticians move set. And tonight I'm bringing you Skarmory. That's right, it's Skarmory time my tacticians. I love the, the original steel and flying Pokemon of generation 3. And let me tell you something, this Pokemon, maybe, maybe it wasn't generation 3, maybe it was generation 2. But in any case! Skarmory is probably one of my favorite all-time birds of the, you know, of the various generations. If I had to pick one, I'd have to say it would definitely be Skarmory because that metal bird is just so cool looking. And it's got some really neat abilities and moves that it can pull off. So, I'm going to bring you five move sets just because. As once again, I'm going to be giving you five move sets. Two of them are going to be pretty standard move sets. One of them is going to be a tactician submitted move set. One of them is going to be my personal favorite move set. And then the fifth one is going to be my crazy, impy, what are you thinking move set. So, in any case, here we go. First up is going to be a choice band keen eye skarmory. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Impy, why would I use keen eye? It's useless. It just makes it so I can't be... I can't pet if I can't lose any accuracy. Well, that's what you would say. However, Keen Eye has a nifty ability if you look at it. And it ignores evasion stats. So let's just say you're running up against a muck who's, you know, setting up double teams and so on. And you're thinking, oh crap, I gotta deal with this muck. Which, believe me, I've had to deal with muck. But Keen Eye will make it so you hit every time. You can't lose their evasion. You can't be evaded. So that is what I love about Keen Eye. I myself might actually run a Keen Eye Skarmory one of these days. I actually may change one of my, my Skarmory so he runs Keen Eye. But in any case, that is what I'm going to recommend with this Skarmory. It's going to be a choice band, Keen Eye, Adamant Nature, Max Attack, Max Defense Eve Ease. Skarmory using Brave Bird, Night Slash, X Scissor, and I put Metal Claw on this one because you never know when you might need that extra plus one attack. You might be get lucky and get a plus one in your attack, and that can pretty that can snowball really quickly if you get if you get those plus ones going with the Metal Claw. So that's gonna be what my what team that's what gonna be my first Skarmory. My second Skarmory. It's gonna be a white herb weak armor weakness or weak armor skarmory using swords dance, drill peck, steel wing, and protect. Now the reason why I'm going for the white herb weak armor is so that when I get if I get hit with a with a physical attack, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is get those stats back. I'm gonna to wanna to get that plus one or that negative one in defense back as quickly as possible. And I'm gonna to wanna, to, you know, keep as many Keep as strong as my defenses as I can. I'm gonna put my sword stance up. I'm gonna take that physical hit, especially if it is a physical hit. I want to take that physical hit, and I want to make sure I survive it, especially the surviving part. So I'm also gonna set sword stance. I'm gonna go for my following turn because of that plus two I get. I'm gonna get a drill peck. I'm gonna get a steel wing, and if I have to, I can protect at the same time. But I want to not lose any of my defenses. If I lose any of my defenses, it can really, really hamper my Skarmory's ability to survive attacks and get additional plus two uh, speeds going. So that's why I'm going to want to use the, the White Herb to give me back that defensive power. So up next, it's going to be a Tactician submitted moveset. This one comes from Kirby Fan, so big old out. Big ol' Russian Ram hug to Kirby Van for submitting this one. I like this one the best. So, what have we got here? We got a Rocky Helmet Sturdy Skarmory that uses Stealth Rock, Roar, Brave Bird, and Roost. So, I like this moveset simply because it screams one of two things. One, you have no choice but to attack me. Two, if you don't want to attack me, then you're going to suffer for it each turn because every turn I'm going to stand up and I'm going to roar you out of the field and I'm going to get more weak, more stealth rock damage out there. And if the opponent isn't going to isn't uh, going to be, you know, chicken and go for the offense, they better be special attackers because that rocky helmet will deal a lot of damage to them, especially if they're physical attackers and they don't have any moves that are effective against Skarmory. 
And that is where this na this impish nature, this defense boost, this max HP, and the, you know, small amount of offensive power coming from the, you know, the attack points. But the real power is this Roar Stealth Rocks combo. It's really, really dangerous to some Pokemon, especially to fire types, which just so happen to be Skarmory's natural weakness. So if they're running a fire type, they're going to have a bad time. So, moving on to my next Skarmory, it's gonna be my weakness policy sturdy Skarmory with Automatize, Steel Wing, Sky Drop, Roost. That's right, and I'm gonna go for a careful nature, gonna max out my special defense EVs. I'm gonna, you know, put some into my into my defense and my HP. I'm not gonna bother with the attack stats or the attacking stats uh, EVs, but the reason why I do this is because the weakness policy will give me that plus two into that stat. So I don't need to worry about, you know, increasing my attack power in any way. Because that's where my attack is going to be coming from. And I'm going to be going for Automatize, Steel Wing, and Sky Drop. Because those three moves combined will give Skarmory enough speed and firepower to deal with most threats. I have the Steel Wing for stab damage as well as to give me an additional defense increase by if by some chance. Oh my goodness, I wish I got both chances more often. And I also have the sky drop, especially for double battles, that to take the opponent into the sky, take them out for one turn, even if it's not even if it's just for that one turn, that might give my 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 partner Pokemon enough time to deal some massive damage to the other Pokemon. Allows me to focus down one Pokemon first, and then I can deal with the other one at the same time later on. So that is my setup here, and that's why I have the weaker policy in the sturdy for this combo. So up next, it is the MP. What are you thinking? Sets. That's right. We got the leftovers. We got the weak armor. We got the roost. We got the Swords Dance, we got the Iron Defense, and we got the Aerial Ace. Impy, what is this insanity you brought to us? Well, it's simple. Weak, or weak Armor will only activate with physical attacks. So, that got me thinking. What if we increased our defenses before the Weak Armor activates, or after the Weak Armor activates? That gives me a plus one into my defenses, and a plus two into my speed if the opponent is using physical attacks. That got me thinking as well. What if I were to re repeat that cycle just a little bit? You know, put my put my R in defense up, get my plus one in defense after all things considered, all the nets are gone. And then I used sword stance, especially on physical attacking opponents to increase my attack while they're while they're just trying to whittle my health down. That puts me down at net zero for, you know, defense stat increases after weak armor activate, but that gives me a plus four into my speed. And if I can last one more turn, I can roost, recycle my health, and resume the Iron Defense Swords Dance Roost combo until I'm fast enough and strong enough to use Aerial Ace to pretty much deal with any threat that could come my way. And I happen to have leftovers on the Skarmory because, you know, I might need that Skarmory to keep going just a little bit longer. That's the Roost. So the Roost can do its thing, so the Swords Dance can get up, so that the Iron Defense can stay on the field, keep this Skarmory going. Its huge weakness is that it doesn't deal with special attacks very well, but you know what? If it's against a physical attacker, we'll be just fine. So there you go, that is my MP what are you thinking moveset and the logic behind it. So once again, we're gonna go down these Skarmory movesets one at a time. We're gonna be going for Choice Band Keen Eye Skarmory with Adamant Nature. And as you can know, it's got some decent power. It can handle a lot of things, and it can especially handle those Pokemon that are trying to set up evasion stats. Up next is going to be the White Orb, White, <laughs> White Orb, Bright White Herb, Tongue Twister there, Weak Armor, Swords Dance, Drill Peck, Steel Wing Combo with Protect, and we got a Jolly Nature, and there you go, enough said. Get our defense boost back, get our plus three, get our plus two in speed, get our plus two in, in attack, 
roll from steamroll from there. Then we got Skarmory with Rocky Helmet Sturdy submitted by Kirby Fan. With Stealth Rock, Roar, Brave Bird, Roost. Oh my goodness, this thing just screams die fire types. And that's gonna be for fun. We're gonna have Impish Nature, Max Defense, Max AP. Alright, and then we're gonna be moving on to my Weakness Policy Sturdy combo with Automatize, Steel Wing, Sky Drop, Roost with the Careful Nature, Max Special Defense EVs, uh, 108 in the Defense Stat, uh, 148 into the HP, and all fun and all fun and dandy there. And finally, the What Are You Thinking MP moveset, Leftovers, Weak Armor, Aerial Ace, Iron Defense, Swords Dance, Roost. Stuff set, animate nature with max defense, max fit, max attack EVs. Oh my lord, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you make use of these movesets, and I hope you learned a thing or two about Skarmory. So, until my next time, my tacticians, I will see you all around. Bye bye!